Hey you guys, it's me, Miss Bobby, and I'm coming to you with a quick update on my decision. I have decided that I'm going to stop this round of HCG. I am not pleased with my results, and it's not the product's fault. Um, it's not even my fault, really. I'm doing protocol, but I'm living with a stress factor. It's a really, really big distraction when it comes to doing anything for me, for me, about me, because of me, to better me. Um, so until I get rid of this stress factor, I will basically be setting myself up to fail. I have, uh, I've tried everything to, um, to let this factor turn positive in my life and it's just not. So if it's going to continue to be a negative force in my life, a negative energy, um, this basically is detrimental to me, to my emotional status, to my mental status, and definitely to my physical status. So all around my well-being is in jeopardy when I'm dealing with this individual person. Yes. And... I'm really tired of going back and forth with trying to convince myself of anything other than what's right in my face right now, which is I'm unhappy with this person. I'm not pleased. And then truth be told, neither is he. So hopefully within the next 30 to 60 days, and that seems like a very long time. It is because I've been dealing with this for seven long months, but um, somewhere between the next 30 to 60 days, I hopefully will be completely done with this factor. I don't know if it means that uh, he'll leave voluntarily within the guidelines of when he receives his 30-day notice. Or will he do like he's done before and just up and roll out? And if he does, I'll be smart enough to not let him come back this time. But... Or does it just mean that when I decide to put all my shit in storage, he doesn't have a choice but to leave because I'm giving my landlord the keys? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I do believe that because things have already gotten really, really bad, I'm scared to say that I think they're going to get much worse before I see a relief in anything. I don't want that to be the case, though. I really don't. I just, um, I want to be free from all of this. I do. So, I hope you guys are having a better Sunday than I am. Yes, HCG is over for now, not for long. I'm only a week or two away from, uh, I was only a week or two away from changing products anyway. So, when my mindset is a little bit better, I'll come back and give you as much information that I'm as I'm allowed to with their guidelines and rules and regulations with the new company. I'll give you as much information as I can once I go through all the rules. And I'll let you know what the process is going to be for me um, trying HCG again or whatever products I do try in the future. I, I, I enjoy vlogging. So I would definitely do that. And I hope that for the ones that um, believe in a spiritual, higher spiritual being, that you pray me up. Because I need that right now. I'm going to um, try to wrap my mind around a positive future because that's what I want. I don't want to be stuck where I'm at right now. No longer than what I have to be. I'm sorry. But, um, and I wish, I wish the gentleman in my life well. He's a good guy. He has flaws just like we all do. In regards to what he decides to do, I want him happy in the future. And I know that whether he changes now or later, he's going to one day be a great guy for somebody. He's just not it for me. So, 
And I can't focus on me without being punished or penalized for it when I'm in this relationship. So the only way for me to focus on me is to get rid of him. And I'm trying to do it in the best polite way possible. So the game plan is it's already the 6th of December. He's like, legally, that's not 30 day notice. You should tell me from the beginning of the month. Wow. So January 1st, he'll have his 30 day notice. And he'll be gone February 1st. So, and I just want to really not think about too much anything right now because tomorrow is a very emotional day for me. It would have been my two year wedding anniversary with my late husband. And I I just want to feel however it is I'm feeling and not feel guilty about it. Because I have this so-called boyfriend in the house with me. He's not my boyfriend. He was somebody that I cared about. I wanted to help. He wanted to help me. And we had good intentions. We really did. I do believe that he had some... Some underlining of, of an agenda. I really do believe he did. But that's nor here nor there. The situation is the situation. And I just want him to leave. Bottom line. So I'm going to get comfortable as much as I can. He's not here right now. And I'm going to close my bedroom door and relax. Because eventually he will be here. And eventually we'll have to get in the car together. Because I am his transportation to work. I work at the same place that he works at. Or should I say he work at the same place I work at? I've been there for almost a year. He's been there four months. But anyway, I love you guys. I really do. To the ones that watch and to the ones that don't. <laughs> Y'all all have a great and blessed Sunday.